Mia, thanks for joining us and congratulations on your NAB AFL Women's Rising Star nomination for round one. Um, you. You're in your third AFLW season now, originally selected by the club Pick 49 in 2019. Can you tell all the fans out there a bit about your football journey? So I started football um, in about the grade 10. I started for East Launceston Junior Football Club. Um, and I played that for around two years. It was just a bit of fun um, associated with my school. Uh, and then I decided to, I re realised that I really loved it. And then um, I got involved in some kickstart programs. And then from there, I started getting selected for Woolmers and other bits and pieces like that. And I think that's where I really found my love for the game. Um, not only the football side, but also the off-field connections as well. I really enjoyed. And then I started playing in a TSL for London Test and Women's Football Club. And then I was lucky enough to get drafted um, in 2019 for North Melbourne, which I was absolutely stoked about. It's the only club I wanted to go to. So I was really, really excited. Um, and then I guess from there, I've just been with North ever since for three years now. Uh, 2021 was a breakout year for you in your career, your second um, year on the AFLW list. You became a key member of the team's midfield and forward line, but what do you see your role being in 2022? I think last year it kind of felt like my first season because the first year we had the base in Hobart, so I didn't get to see the team that much. Um, so I kind of felt like making the move over to Melbourne last year was my first year. So it was really good to build those connections with the girls and see them um, a lot more, which was really good. And I think it helped me on the footy field as well, just being in person. Um, with pre-season, I felt like I've been here for a while now. And it's, yeah, I just formed those connections. So it feels really good. And I've been training a lot in the midfield um, and learning off the likes of Ash Riddell, Jasmine and Jenna, who's also come back in. So yeah, it's been really good. I reckon I'll play probably more midfield time there and also a bit of forward as well, like a small crummer. You're a young athlete and I'm sure there's plenty of sports people that you look up to and even teammates. So who inspires you? One of my favourite all-time athletes is probably Kathy Freeman. Um, I remember mum gave me her book in grade six and I read it. I don't read books, but I read hers within like a day, which is really fast for me. Um, I just thought she's a really inspiring how she's achieved what she has, um, especially during the controversy of that time. And I just think she's a really powerful and brave woman. Um, so I really look up to her. Um, I could list so many, but also probably from my team is Emma Carney. I think she's just, I was saying to a few of the girls, like there's no one you meet like her. Like she's just an awesome character on and off the field. Like she's just really helpful. I remember she really helped me when I first came to the club and made me feel really welcome. And I think she's just such a powerful leader. And yeah, she's just awesome. Geelong on the weekend, just gone. They challenged us and we did enough to get the win in the end, which was fantastic. What was the message from, from Croc at three-quarter time to the group? Obviously, it was round one, so I think it's always a very pressurised game just because it's the first round. So I think that um, we knew Geelong was going to bring the heat and credit to them that they did. I think the message from Croc was just that, you know, we've had quite a difficult week leading up to our round one we had quite a few people get COVID so and then missed trainings and stuff like that so it was a pretty interesting round but we had training last night and I think that we were all just really happy that um, we showed a lot of grit and determination that we could get the result despite the difficult week it had been so I think to be able to get that win was really good for us and I think yeah just the message from Croc I remember it was really powerful he just said that you know why do we do what we do and spend all the pre-season hours that we do it's for games like this and I think that really motivated the girls to put in an awesome cracking last quarter and yeah we just got over the line which was really good and now looking ahead to the crows this weekend on sunday afternoon they obviously had a really strong start to their year um defeating the brisbane lions what do we expect from them on sunday yeah i think it'll be a, a definitely a big game um hopefully we'll get our full squad back but i think um it's going to be a really awesome game just to see where we're at and to play such a quality team like adelaide will be really good and i think we can definitely um know that they're going to bring the pressure just like Geelong. Um, but, yeah, I think it'll be really good to see our development and how our pre-season goes, and I reckon it'll be a really good game. Brilliant. Well, we look forward to it, and thanks for joining us, Mia, and, again, congratulations on your Thank you nomination. So Thank you.